Hi guys, this is Saya signing in and in today's video guys, we're going to be talking about a new Animal Jam game that is similar to Animal Jam Classic actually being made by HHQ and it could possibly be releasing in the next year or two. And then some also uh, other additional stuff about Animal Jam Classic and how it is as a game in the current year pretty much. So this comes from a Jam ambassador named Delica AJ. Um, I've actually made a video on a previous interview they have done with the CEO of Animal Jam, Clark Stacy, but pretty much they did another interview with Clark Stacy here and pretty much asked him some questions about Animal Jam Classic, what they are planning for Classic, if it's going to get some kind of updates in the future and yeah, what the roadmap is kind of looking like for Animal Jam Classic. So uh, first of all, talking about why Animal Jam Classic is hard to update. Now I have a video coming out. I'll probably release it tomorrow. I had it planned for yesterday actually, but I kind of set off on it because there was an update yesterday uh, by the time I'm recording this. So I just kind of pushed it back, but I'll release it tomorrow. It kind of goes more in depth on why Classic isn't updated. But pretty much Clark here says that because Animal Jam still runs on Flash and it pretty much is masked under this application called Electron, it is extremely hard for them to actually update the game. And if they were to actually convert the game to something like another game engine, it would be extremely hard for them to be very labor intensive because Animal Jam is a very big game. There's a lot of items, like all of these items are unique for the most part. Obviously recolors wouldn't count, but even individual items, there is still a lot of them in the game. And they would pretty much have to reanimate everything, you know, from animals, items, dens, pets, everything. They'd have to remake the entire game from scratch, essentially, which is very hard to do. So I'll just play the clip on screen right now. Uh, yeah, Classic was a browser-based Flash game. Uh, Flash is no longer supported by browsers and is generally frowned upon by the big tech companies out there. So the only way to continue running Classic on your desktop computer is to put it in this software wrapper called Electron. And Electron basically uh, contains a mini web browser in it, and it runs Animal Jam in a contained web browser environment on your computer. Uh, it, it kind of slows some of the performance down. It's not a great solution, but it's, uh, it enables um, us to continue playing it. It, it compounds the difficulty of putting new stuff in Classic because for, for Flash games, the way that we made Classic was we would take 3D models of animals and characters and then we would render out 2D animation frames. Um, and the reason that we did that, because Flash is a 2D uh, animation program, but um, the reason we did that is because we can create this kind of cool 3D look to the characters uh, for every single item in the game. It means that there are hundreds of thousands of frames of animation and going in, adding thing and or changing anything is just a super labor intensive process. Now that's, that's not to say that new content can't be added. I think that more explains the, the difficulty or challenge in bringing AJ Classic to a new platform like WebGL and you know, recreating it as a, as a browser based game. Uh, because essentially all of that work would have to be redone, re-rendered uh, to be optimized for, for that platform. Um, and that's a massive undertaking. Um, now, the, the possibility of us undertaking that massive thing uh, went up considerably when we were acquired by Nazara last, uh, last August, September. Um, because one of the benefits of being part of the Nazara network is you know, they have uh, tremendous resources with, uh, uh, with animators and artists um, you know, based in India and abroad, and they can bring to bear um, you know, an, an army that we can't. We're a, we're a much smaller company and uh, you know, maintaining just what we're doing is uh, it kind of keeps our dance card pretty cool. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, that's pretty much what he said. Probably explained it a lot better than I could anyway, because he's in charge of things over there. So he did say near the end there, I believe, um, you know, it looks possible because they were bought out last year. If you remember, Animal Jam was actually bought by another company or Wildworks, was, I should say, was bought by another company. And they pretty much had that extra funding and extra workforce, essentially, that they could probably make it happen if they really wanted to. However, he does say here that he's going to opt for something else here 
or what is on their current roadmap anyway for Animal Jam Classic anyway. So he pretty much says that instead of making a ground up version of the same old Animal Jam Classic no, that they're going to pretty much remake Animal Jam and it's not going to be like a direct port essentially. So what I think he means there, I could be wrong, but I think he means like it's not going to have every single thing, you know, like it's not going to have every single item here that we've seen in recent years, which, you know, I imagine they'll probably pick out like the items, you know, most people use, I imagine. Maybe uh, leave out some and same with the animals, maybe. But he pretty much goes on to say that he has played like a tech demo version of, you know, this new Animal Jam essentially where and he's like tested it out and everything and it's on WebGL, I believe he did say. However, I'll let the play, uh, I'll let the clip play in full here so you can like listen to what he says and, uh, you know, hear from the man himself. Um, so taking creating an Animal Jam experience that uh, is drawn heavily from Classic may not be a direct port of everything in Classic, but does extend uh, the Classic experience, is on the Wildworks roadmap. There is WebGL research that we're doing that's ongoing there. Uh, I have played level demos of Animal, Animal Jam, you know, the, what you would recognize as kind of a, you know, Jama Township and some core areas in Animal Jam, running in WebGL and it's awesome. Um, that that it's still a long, long way away from a, from a product that, that we could put out. Um, but it is, uh, you know, it's not something that we've taken our eyes off of. We're certainly, you know, our commitment to Classic itself has not changed. But yeah, it is pretty exciting and, you know, it might beg a lot of questions like what's going to happen to Animal Jam Classic then if this, you know, new Animal Jam Classic, I guess, or Animal Jam Classic 2.0 or is what I like to call it for right now. What is going to happen to the original Animal Jam Classic and if this game is going to like go kapoosh or something? I'm not too sure what they're going to do and I don't think they probably have that under control as of right now. You know, it is hard to say because it is a big move that they're going to make. They're essentially launching a brand new game for classic players so they have an easier time updating the game and then also supporting the game and community that you know makes the game what it is so for people complaining all the time under their posts and whatnot saying like oh where's the alma gem classic updates stuff like that you know it won't be as much because they're gonna have the ability to update this new game here now uh, he did say it's not gonna happen anytime soon so i don't imagine it's gonna happen this year maybe next year or something i don't really know obviously i don't know the ins and outs of what they're doing or anything but he said it's on their current roadmap meaning it's something they are working on and planning on releasing but yeah it kind of made me question like oh what's gonna happen to the original animal jam are they gonna like offer some kind of transfer over to the new one or something when they inevitably do release it or something i'm not too sure but i'm sure they will have a concrete plan and uh, an adequate plan to make everybody happy when when they do plan on releasing that anyway so this is pretty exciting obviously for a lot of old classic players and everybody watching i imagine classic players are watching right now this is pretty big news for the game you know, pretty much gonna get a whole new version of it and it's gonna be pretty supported with updates and stuff. Now at the end here, he also says there's like something big coming for a classic. I'll play that clip right now as well. Um, and I will say that uh, there is something pretty exciting and new coming to classic very soon. Um, I think that it will be a, uh, a blast from the past for, uh, for some of our older classic players, but, um, but kind of remade for, for this generation. And I'm, I'm excited for people to, to see it and start talking about it. I think it will be pretty psyched. And perfectly safe. It is not going anywhere. Uh, there's some technical housekeeping that's probably overdue there, and, uh, particularly rebuilding the installer, which bugs me every time I look at it. Uh, but no, it, we're, we're not taking it down. It's not going anywhere. Now, I'm not too sure on what he means by this. I don't know if he means uh, as in what he just talked about because he means a blast from the past and it's going to be exciting for all old classic players or something. I don't know if he means like there's something to this current classic game that there's something big coming or not. I'm not too sure, but I do know that there is a lot planned for classic on the way and it's going to be extremely exciting when we see, do see it come out in the next while. Obviously, we have wild weekends going on right now and stuff as well. So we might be referring to some future wild weekends 
weekends. But yeah, that's pretty much everything in terms of uh, the interview Delicate posted um, for the classic section of it anyway. I believe there was a longer 20-minute uh, version, maybe a bit longer, um, including other things about Animal Jam and whatnot, which I haven't reviewed too much just yet, but um, I thought the classic one was definitely a lot interesting, and I think most people would be interested in that. But yeah, um, that's pretty much everything that was discussed, and that's pretty much everything Clark Stacy knows as well. So that's going to wrap this up here. Big shout out to Delicate again for this. I'll leave them linked in the be description below. You can check out their original post and interview as well. I do encourage you to. Big shout out to them. Uh, this video wouldn't be possible without them. Yeah, to uh, commemorate this video, I guess we will give away this a little black long collar here. All you got to do to enter this giveaway is first of all, subscribe to the channel with notifications on set to all. Drop a like on the video and then also drop a comment down below letting me know what you thought. And I will pick out a winner and the winner will be announced through the pinned comment of the video. But yeah guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up here for this one. I will have another video out tomorrow kind of going more in depth on why Almajan Classic isn't updated. However, you got some of the reason in the start of this video. But yeah, we'll wrap it up here. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you guys do want to be notified on future videos as well as videos just like this one. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it and let me know what you thought in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited for this? I am beyond excited, beyond thrilled to see that they haven't given up on Classic anyway just yet. But uh, yeah, all jokes aside, with that, it's going to be Saya signing out. Thank you.